gonna start finishing this area here, maybe redoing a little bit of this neighborhood. So we're gonna look at the ground pollution and it doesn't seem that it is recovering from us moving the industrial area, which is unfortunate. It might actually be recovering a little bit now that I think of it. I, I feel like these were completely covered, but I think we'll do some commercial out here and sneak in a little bit more of our residential through here. So let's start right about here. And we'll do like that. We'll get rid of this zoning here as well. Try to get a little smaller one in there. And I'm gonna unzone the rest of this just to get it going. And then we'll show you how it looks. Starting to see zoning is slowing down even though we have it zoned and we have a demand. Things are just coming in here a little bit slower. Maybe because I did the wrong zoning type? Okay, I'm a doofus. We'll get the right type zoned here. There we go, now the demand's picking up. Let's uh, get rid of these ones. We didn't mean to zone there. There they go, coming in nice. Now this area, I think we do have a little bit more of a commercial demand. So let's go ahead and fill that in. We'll go on that road as well. I think that'll work out nice. It gets that nice and full there. So I gotta figure out something, maybe recreational, like a park out here. Let's see how this ground pollution's doing. And the ground pollution, it does seem to be, I don't know, we'll have to see if that keeps improving, but we're gonna earmark the rest of this for a commercial area. And I'm not sure how we get hotels. I know there was a lack of hotel complaint at one point, uh, unreliable health care, but we are in a deficit again, just barely. So we're just past 8,000 people, big town. We have a lot of development points that we could use and we got to figure out what we want to spend those on. Welfare office, financial support to lower citizens will increase their well-being and lower the likelihood of recurring crime. Nice. City Hall. Got to do some public transportation today as well. I think while we let this stuff come in a little bit, that's what we'll do next. And we're going to be hurting our finances a little bit because the upkeep is 62000 on this, but I think this will be a good spot for it, for our bus depot. And let's see how different making bus stops is going to be here. So I don't know if we just place bus stops now and it creates routes dynamically like that's cool let's put a little bus stop in this new commercial area and let's get a couple over to the industrial area maybe just right in the middle right about there and let's see we got some taxis roaming around it looks like one there how about out in this outskirts area probably about right here and there's probably a better plan that we could go with this, but again, this is something we're learning about the game, and we'll figure it out as we go. Just kind of see how these react first, and then we can potentially plan something better to figure that out. And money's good, though. Fees for public transportation, we'll see that in a little bit. Not sure why that upkeep didn't really get hurt there. A high rent, and I think that's because of the demand. So we might wanna shift to growing the city, maybe this direction? Yeah, we'll do that next. We're gonna move the rock star a little bit. We're going to, where's a good location? Let's give us just a nice area in here. And they're gonna have a little bit of land, but that kind of makes sense for the type of house it is. So let's grab that. We're gonna move it, and we're gonna place it right here and do some alleys to get them access to their home. And then we'll do a little bit of paths in here. Like they have a little bit of a private, private little park that they own. Just kind of loop it around, connect it to their drive. Like so, trying to have some areas that aren't completely populated with buildings and just kind of give some natural areas long-term here in this playthrough. So that will allow us to now come out here, demolish this road, and extend our main road here. So we did kind of make a mistake, and we'll see what has to happen to fix this. Do that, and a couple houses will get kicked out, but that's uh, the way it works. And let's see if we can fix this here. There we go, and maybe have those respawn in. So now we should be able to extend the main road again and we'll grab it in the center like so and we'll just come out a few few blocks there and then the other main roads getting cut off by that which is fine we have this one here which will grab about 
Uh, let's start making this grid a little bit more. We're going to go ahead from here in, add residential. Oh, 34,000 negative. All right, so we're struggling a little bit. I think right here, we're going to add just a little bit of office. And then also we'll add a little bit of commercial. Kind of help supplement this new neighborhood like that. We're gonna let that come in a little bit and see how that's doing. As well as I think we'll do a little bit more pre-planning of some offices out here and commercial. Now that that's had a little bit of time, let's find one of our bus stops and see how it's doing. Now, I don't know if we did this right. Taxi stand, bus line, okay. So now we probably, okay, we didn't do that right. So how do we do a bus line? All right, stop there. Just gonna connect all these up. We'll just do one bus line for now, and I'm sure we're gonna cause traffic, but we're learning. It's our first attempt, like so. Okay, so now that should get some actual public transportation going. I noticed in the service fees, we still had zero, and we had nobody really waiting at any of the bus stops. Let's see if that's changed already. Not yet at this one. This dog seems to be kind of chilling and lost. He's part of the Johnson family. Interesting. And the way we zoned all this, it came in nice. Looking good. We got one little spot here that I would like to fix the zoning on. Is that just not gonna work? Is that? Because it's not actually touching, it wants to zone here. Okay, so we can go like that to fix it. Very nice. Well, some more major expansion going on. We finally got everyone happy again. And we added, I realized I didn't have a post office. I had mail stops, so we got that starting to get sorted out here. You can see, yeah, we're, we're processing plenty of mail now. Not complaining about that. We've got a new fire. We've got a new firehouse out here, as well as a police station patrolling this new neighborhood that we've added. Healthcare will probably be next, but we are in the negative slightly. Uh, we were doing good for a while, but it looks like yeah, livestock and oil is gonna be a problem. Let's go look at what's going on in the oil industry. They got the workers they need. Can we make this a little bit bigger? Let's take a look here. Yeah, we can, okay. Oh no, we're outside the zone. Oh, so do we mess up? Can we not move it? Interesting, so maybe we'll tackle that soon. We're in the positive again, 22,000, good. Oh, oil recovered as well. So livestock's the only thing falling behind. And how are our profitability of our companies? 25%, is that turning? Yeah, we got some turning green, that's good. Offices are doing good. This company is not. And what do they, entertainment, beverages. So let's look at our production and we'll go down to this here. Beverages are, gosh, we should be doing fine with that, but we do have a little bit of a deficit of beverages. So we can also look at all of these things here. Okay, so even though Editor Socks jumping in here. It looks like we don't have enough industry buildings making beverages. That's why we're still importing the beverages, affecting the profitability of that company. But the demand's outrageous. We're slowly working our way to the next milestone. And we just gotta keep expanding at this point. And I think we wanna take care of some of this industrial demand. How are the job rates going? Should we focus on... I think we do want to focus on getting more people into town and this residential demand. So there's certain areas here that I think would make sense to kind of attack and create some more higher density. So we're gonna do that now. We're gonna pause it so we can handle that and I'll show you what we came up with. So we did quite a bit of changes here. We added some high density for the first time and these are huge. We got a couple different size ones. These are the low income ones or the low rent. Added a parking lot, so we, we got rid of some people. Some people left and we got a traffic jam because of, it looks like the buses. Okay, so traffic starting to look like an issue. And that's, that's interesting because how many ha people? 90 households, 90 households. This one's gonna be 60. Yeah, adding some height here. And I think it would make sense at some point for some of this commercial to get upgraded as well, even though we don't have that yet. So that'll be the next milestone. But some office demand is picking up. What a balancing act. 
120,000 positive a month. That's the highest we've been. Let's slow down simulation because we need to keep expanding. But I wanted to get to finishing up this industry area and kind of get it looking better. Little park we want to do here. Let's look at this traffic issue here. Okay. So this is an actual issue, and I think this is one where we're going to try to solve this with a roundabout for now. And we, we mentioned a couple episodes ago, we knew this was eventually going to become an issue. Let's also put one here, and we'll see how that gets sorted. Starting to favor it a little bit, moving a little bit better. And is there a traffic view? There's got to be, right? So you can see during the day, it's it's... It's changing during the day, but you can see we have a lot of yellow. We have a lot of yellow. So we have some traffic issues and hopefully this one gets it gets a little bit better. But that's a lot of backed up traffic to clear out. And that's funny, we're getting ready to go work over here. So roundabout back up because this one's backed up. Holy moly, more mass transit is needed. We're getting close to that 10,000 mark, so it makes sense. But let's go times three. See if this resolve on stuff if a roundabout does it. That would be nice. I would prefer that they come out to here. And this one, actually, this doesn't even need to be a roundabout. Hold on. How do we undo that? Like so. Oh, nice. It went right back. But let's do this. And we're just going to get rid of that traffic light. And we're also going to do no left turn. Oops, no left turn. So we're gonna force them to go straight to the roundabout and avoid turning left there. And I'm assuming it's just gonna take some time for the AI to catch up with the not allowed to turn. But that seems to be freeing it a little bit. There they go, now they're swinging around and that's gonna cause the traffic jam to move up here, but we wanted to get them to this bigger main road that was designed for that. But another highway out here might be nice. Eek. All right, we're going to let the simulation run a little bit. It looks like it is recovering. Roundabouts for the win, apparently. That's awkward now, right in the middle of town. But the pollution doesn't seem to be going away, which is unfortunate. I was hoping that ground pollution would slowly over time. It's, it's hard to tell if it is. All right, let's finish some of this up out here. Yeah, this parking lot filled up nice. And this is a congested area because we added a lot of citizens. So our parking lots are starting to get used a little bit more. And I think if we de-zone or add sidewalks to some more of these, that one looks nice with the park cars parked there. Ah, building up around the cemetery. What is that? Electrical bottleneck. There's not enough electric transfer capacity at this point in the grid to deliver all required power. Interesting. So all of that power is going that way. And it's, so if we had another road, maybe? What if we just made like a route like this with a larger road that then blended in like so? That does take care of it. Okay, so a single pipe here was the problem. Now this pipe goes that way. This one's looking like it's stressed a little bit, but that should help for a little bit. We're learning. Wow, that's an interesting topic. How are we doing public transportation wise? 160, 169 a month, cargo. Man, there's so much to this game. So much to this game. Service fees, public transportation, 18,000 a month. Electric fees are getting up there. Education fees, nice, nice. Money is coming in. We're in the positive again. I think that's where we'll leave it. Socks way up. Catch you on the next one. Enjoy.